we hear a lot of protests about women in Gaza, women all over the world, except Israel. Where are they when Israeli women are raped, are uh, abused, and are murdered violently? I think it's an incredible shame what their what their their stance has been regarding just the sheer hypocrisy of how how much they've ignored Israeli Jewish women and their real trauma and real horror that happened to them. So I remember a few years ago there was the Me Too movement. I remember there was also the uh, Bring Our Girls Back movement. There was so much emphasis and pressure, especially by the media and by Hollywood, about believing women. When a woman claims that she was raped, that she was sexually assaulted, believe her, the hypocrisy that has been shown by all of these international organizations is sickening. They should all be completely ashamed of themselves. Uh, disregarding women's rights and disregarding actual victims of rape and sexual assault is disgusting on every level. I think that these organizations should be are completely biased, hypocritical, horrible, monstrous organizations if they cannot acknowledge Israeli women that were in these horrible situations. And I know that the trauma that these women faced was magnified so much more because so many people deny that they even went through it and deny that it even happened. I want those people to look themselves in the mirror and think what they should do if it was their daughter, their mother, their wife, their girlfriend that experienced such a horror. And to really look at themselves and say, this is what I believe in. All women have rights. All women should be believed. Except if they're Jewish. Except if they're Israeli. Those women don't have rights. And those women's claims of rape and trauma and sexual assault are illegitimate. That's what they should say. And they should say it openly and stand behind their words.